what's up? Welcome back to the Solo.io tutorial series. This is part 10. We made it to the double digits. Congratulations. Uh, and in today's episode, we're going to continue to work on the main menu, uh, specifically on this sprite. So first, let's add a bouncing and a rotating effect. And you'll see what I mean. It's a little bit confusing to explain. But this is a bit of a complex and adv uh, advanced um, block. And be it's going to require quite a few amount of operators. So not complex as in it's hard to understand, um, but complex as in it's going to require you to really pay attention here. So I've broken it down into some things that make it a lot more simple. So you're going to have an addition operator. In the first spot, you're going to have a multiplication operator. Okay. And then you're going to drag in an ABS of. We're going to change that to COS, which stands for cosine. And then we're going to drag in another or duplicate another uh, multiplication here. Um, and then we're going to drag in a subtraction. And in the subtraction, the first spot is going to be, uh, I'm going to go into, uh, here, grab the timer. This is what's important. And it's going to look like kind of a breathing effect that you guys will get to see. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, but the way we're going to order this is also really important. So this right here is going to go here. So it should be cosine of timer minus times. And make sure that this is going in the first spot. And then this right here is going to go in the very first spot here. So that's it. If you're able to follow along, great. If it's a little bit too confusing, you could stick with something else. Um, and it will look really good as well. But this is just something that I found that works. And, and it, it, it creates a really cool breathing effect. So the numbers here are going to be 2, 100, 6, and 90. Now, Please feel free to play around with these. These are just things that I came up with um, that, that actually look pretty good. But if you do happen to find better numbers, use them by all means. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no like right answer here. So in looks, we're going to have a set size to, and we're going to drag that underneath the show. And then we're going to drag in a point in direction. Whoops. And we're going to drag in these for both of them. So you can drag this here. You can right click duplicate and bring this here so now we have this really cool breathing effect and it looks very natural it, yeah it looks like a uh like if someone were to breathe uh breathe and so it kind of looks like their uh their breath right it's going like up and down smoothly so so yeah i think that's a really cool uh, effect um so what we're gonna do next is we're going to add in a hover effect so if i hover over this nothing happens um this is part of the reason we did if touching mouse pointer and if mouse down in two different ifs. It's because I wanted to add this uh, hover effect. So we're going to go into looks. We're going to say set uh, brightness to. And we're going to set brightness to 10. Now we will have a problem. So if I go and I enter, it sets brightness to 10, which is a hover effect. But if I come out, it doesn't change. And so we need to actually replace this with an if else. So let's go into control. And let's drag in an if else. And we're going to say if touching mouse pointer, then do all of this. But the else is we're where we're going to set the uh, brightness effect back to zero. So now if I hover over this, you can see it changes the brightness by 10 and then it'll change it back down. So that's how we add the hover effect. The last thing I want to do in this episode before we conclude in our final episode 11 in the next part is here what I want to do um, is work on our variable. So what I'm going to do is hide our mode, double click here, bring this around here so that when you actually play, um, you can see it's, it's above. So it's in your field of view, like it's uh, easy to see in your peripheral vision and, and it's not like in the top right corner. Um, but it also doesn't block too much because um, there's not really a lot that's it, it's covering that's important so I think this is a good position uh, and you can double tap to change it into that form all right and so what we're gonna do with this is we're going to say show the variable when we're in menu or sorry when we're in game so it would be actually right here so show length shown make sure you do length shown and then we're gonna hide it uh, right here and so now you can see it's not there. If I click here, now it is. 
And this is a little bit of a harsh transition from here to here. So we're going to work on that in our next episode. But right now we have a really, really cool game. If I go to the boundary and I get hit, I come back and a really smooth uh, movement of camera X and camera Y that create this like floating back to the center kind of effect. So that's where we're going to leave episode 10. I will see you guys uh, in part 11 where we will conclude the Slitter.io tutorial series. So excited for that. Uh, see you guys there. Peace.